Okay, so now let's take a look at the Link web app. The web app is basically a light version of Link that is run through your web browser instead of a program that you install on your computer. It's designed for people who need to join the meeting as a guest or they may not have access to the full version of Link. But it does work uh, as, in the me as meeting wise as a full version of Link. You just miss a few little things like you can't have a contacts list, you can't do instant messaging with your friends, and you can't connect it to your exchange account. So at the beginning of the semester, on the very first page of Blackboard, uh, of your Blackboard course, there will be a link that will look something like this, meet.ttu.edu, and then jonathan.young, or john.sour, and then some numbers on the end. Uh, copy that from Blackboard, and then paste it into a browser window. You can use Internet Explorer, but it also tends to work fine with Mozilla and uh, Safari. I generally don't know about Chrome, though. There seems to have been some issues with that. So we'll hit enter, and if you get this box, you can just cancel it out. That's something here because we're on the TTU network. And now here, you can type in your TTU e-rater and username, and it will sign you in. Um, but if that doesn't work, um, go down here to are you a guest to this meeting, and click there on the little arrow, and you would put in your name. Make sure it's first and then last, or you know, first and la or last name so they can get roll. And make sure this little box here, Install Link Web App Plugin, is checked. So click Join Meeting, and you'll get a little Run bot a window down here. Uh, if it's in Firefox, it's usually up here in the right corner. But just click Run, and it'll download a little thing and install it. It's pretty small. All right, on this window, click Always Allow This Plugin for this domain and click Allow. That's only if you're on the TTU network, though. And this is the Link web app. Now the main thing you're going to want to look at are these five little buttons down here on the bottom. These are your menus and will turn on different features. If they're white like right here, that means they're off. Um, if you click on them though and turn them on, they'll turn blue. Uh, this one right here is the text box. So clicking that and turning it on, I can now type messages out. So if I have a question or need a clarification, I can type it there. Um, that's sometimes easier if you just have to say something quick or if you're doing a poll the uh, you know, with the professor, you can just type your answer in that way. Instead, it's easier instead of having 15 people type, uh, speak over the microphone. On that note, here is your microphone button. If it has a red slash through it, it means you're muted, and you always want to keep yourself muted unless you have a question or need to ask something. Um, so click on that, and right now the microphone's working. This next box here is for your video camera. So click on that, and it will turn your video on. And everyone's video will show up on here in a line. Um, and your professors will typically be bigger. This next button here will let you present content. Right now, um, students will be primarily what are called uh, attendees and not presenters, so they don't have options to do this. But if you do uh, like to do a presentation, your professor can make you a presenter, and you will be able to share things like a PowerPoint, or you can share a web page or something along those lines for everyone else to see. You would click on this and then there would be options here for PowerPoint, web page, whiteboard, things like that. The very last button here is your uh, meeting list. If you click on that, it will show everyone who is in the meeting right now. I don't think you generally need to do much with that, uh, but it's sometimes nice to be able to see who all is here, who all is talking, um, and to see like if their camera's working or if they're presenting content. That's pretty much it for the web app. Uh, if you do have access to the full version of Link, I still recommend trying to install that and get that working. Uh, just because, you know, it's a, a full version always has a little more bells and whistles. But overall, this is how you'll be joining your classes for the majority of the semester if you do not have access to the full version of Link. Thank you very much.